anatomy of the curve. Okay, so I'm going to show you the anatomy of the curve. You need to be in the surfaces, drop down, and curves shelf. So here we have curves. This is the tool setting. It's located here. And here are the curve tools. First off, let's go into a one linear curve. X on the keyboard allows you to snap this to the grid. You can see that toggling on and off. I'm going to snap three points and hit G on the keyboard, which allows me to go back into the curve tool and make a new curve. This time I'm going to use three cubic. X on the keyboard, same kind of schematic. All right, so here I'm going to go into right click control vertex. This one, right click control vertex. A linear path is just a linear path. It's a, it's a straight line from point A to point B. But the other one, the three, the three cubic, is a tangent based curve. So what happens is it's a longer path. And what happens also is even though I snap this point here you notice that the point is actually offset and whenever I go into the move tool and move that it's always offset of the actual line itself okay now at some point when it becomes straight that's when it actually has an intersect point on that line so straight points equal good intersect on the line. Now this offset presents the ability to make very super smooth curves. And these are also spline curves are called. So Now there's another curve tool located here which gives you about the same results as both point this one and this one. So X on the keyboard, let's snap these points. But this time, let's zoom in and click on this point. Okay, I can move it around. I could snap it. But I can also hold control and click out. And then I get this. This rocker arm system, which allows me to either have this or this. So this is a hybrid curve. Okay. Now, all points on curves can be eliminated. Let's say I have control vertex on. I go to the move tool. Right click control vertex. Let's say I want to get rid of this point. I can't. I can delete it leaving those just like that um, same with this one if I delete a if I delete of a curve point on it I can just delete it and it becomes a linear path you can also add points you do that using knots so here's how that works if I right click on curve point and click onto a point on the curve I can now insert a knot now when I go back, I have an extra knot in here. Okay. I can also cut. If I go to curve point, go here, cut. That allows me to cut in that area. If I want to join them, if I go clicking on the first one, hold shift, click on the other one, I can go edit curves, attach curves. Make sure you go to the square box though and take care of keep originals. All right, now that we have basic understanding of curves down by attaching, detaching, adding vertexes, what cubic and linear is, let's go on to the next video.